Dear God, we come to you in prayer today. And God, I ask for your blessings over the marriage of Bradley and Shay. Please fill their hearts with patience, forgiveness, gentleness, gratitude, and above all, God, fill them with love. And as their marriage begins, God, I pray that they would model their love for each other after the love that you have given for us. God, I ask that you please guide and protect them all the days of their life. And it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Shay's a, a very, very special individual. If you have Shay, you don't need the sunshine. And I thought that was summed up what Shay really, really is. She's very sweet. She's very kind. Um, she has, as you can see, a, um, a treasure trove of friends that love her a lot. And we're especially proud that Bradley uh, became part of that trove as well. I've known Bradley for a pretty long time through high school and college. I mean, we've really been there for each other's highest and lowest moments in life. And he's just the best friend I've ever had. I mean, he's one of those people that if I need something, he's there instantly. He's the first person I go to. He's a fantastic friend. He's a great listener, very emphatic. He's a blast to hang out with. If you haven't partied with Brad, get ready. But yeah, he's just incredible. He's an awesome person. Um, he's really kind and nice when you're not playing with uh, video games with them online. Um, super hardworking, never complains. I, I just really can't say enough good things about this guy. Bradley. <laughs> It was the fall of 2014, and you have really bad hair. <laughs> <laughs> you became my instant best friend and my soulmate, <clears throat> which I wouldn't accept until much later. <laughs> it only took one night and one kiss in a Whataburger to know that you had been my soulmate all along. <laughs> It wasn't an overwhelming feeling or a loud thought. It was the first time that it was quiet. We are gathered here today to witness the coming together of two people, two people whose hearts and spirits are already intertwined as one. first met, I was in one of the first drum line rehearsals of my freshman year. You, Alana, and George were the drum majors, and y'all came to introduce yourself to the drum line. Um, from this moment forth, I knew that you were going to be my, a part of my life in some way. There was an essence about you that I cannot forget as you walked with us. There's a big shady tree that the drum line rehearsed under, right? 
you know, our friendship began under this tree, and I think about this shady tree as a metaphor for many things in our relationship. This tree was my best friend in the Texas heat, and I promise to always be your best friend during times of stress and times of celebration. This tree provided me relief and time to recover, and I promise to always be your escape from life and to be your sense of peace with the many things that life throws at us. I'm a changed woman because of you. I'm a better person because of you. As I stand before you on our wedding day, as I become your wife, I have promises I need to make to you. I promise to love you and accept you and to stand by your side, not in front of you, not behind you, but right beside you. As we continue to build our life and family together, I promise to uplift you when things get hard and to celebrate with you as we experience joy in our life. I promise to support your endeavors and dreams, no matter how crazy they may seem. I promise to remind you of your worth and to love you how you need to be loved, even when I'm cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> I promise to be honest with you and to also be patient with you. At least I will really try. I promise to help you put your thoughts and your feelings into words. And I promise to always learn with you and learn from you. I promise to always remain faithful to you and our family and our relationship. I love you with all my heart, Shay. And I promise to always be your shady tree to provide for you in many more ways than one and to grow with you over the years. I promise to try to be the wife and someday the mother of her children that you need me to be. I promise to choose you every single day. Even when I'm tired and when I'm weak, I will always, always, always choose you. I promise you that for the rest of our lives, after our love of God, our love for each other will come first no matter what. A fierce, passionate, everlasting love that cannot and will not be shaken. A love that will teach our children and our children's children that we, what, what love really is. Our life together has already started, but now it continues to grow with you as my best friend, my partner, my lover, and now my husband. I love you always, always, always. By the virtue and authority given to me by the great and beautiful state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Bradley, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Bradley Bear. first met Bradley, um, it was incredible. He was so polite. But what really impressed me about Bradley is he worked so hard at developing his craft. And we were, uh, we told Bradley, welcome to the family. We are so excited that you're going to be a part of our family. And so here we are. Thank you. 